Hi, in this video, we'll show how to create a settings dialog in the top right corner. We'll be using a CSS grid to align the layout, and primary dialog will serve as a parent container. Inside of each component, we'll rely on the classes from PrimeFlex without writing much as CSS ourselves. This will be the last video in the series, so congratulations to you all who followed the tutorial up to this point. Let me know in the comments below if you like this type of content. Let's jump into the code. First, we will create a settings module. We want it to be a module because we'll have a lot of small components inside of it. And since our applications module is already fairly big, we don't want to increase its size any longer. Next, we will import the settings module into the applications module. And then we import the dialog module from PrimeNG into the shared UI module. We go to the menu component and add the p dialog component here. But we first need to add it to the exports array of the shared UI module. Now it looks fine. And then we set the show header to false. And the field visible will be wired up to the is settings dialog displayed boolean, which is initially set to false. Next we attach the click event handler to the mobile icon and connect it to the toggle settings dialog method, where we just invert the current value. We also add a top margin to the dialog and set the position to the top right. The content of the dialog will be our settings component and I'm getting this error because I haven't exported it from the settings module so that it becomes visible to the external world. So let's change that in a second. Now if I go to the browser and click on the mobile icon, we can see settings works. Now let's create components that represent the building blocks of the settings component. The airdrop control, the Bluetooth component, the focus control component, keyboard brightness component, music component screen mirroring component and Wi-Fi component I will now delete the test files for all the components that I just created. Then we create an index.ts file and so we can export all the components from here. And then import them more nicely into the settings module. I'll just fast forward this part a bit. Then in the settings module, we will import all the components. And then add them to the components array. And we add the components array to the declarations array and to the exports array.
Now let's start building our settings component template. We will start with a div with class settings and inside of it we'll have another div with a class Wi-Fi Bluetooth AirDrop. This div contains the components with the same names. We'll have another div with a class focus control and then the appropriate component inside of it. And then we will add another div for the keyboard brightness. One for the screen mirroring control. And in the end, the music control. Let me just adjust the class names real quick. And that's the template. We save, go to the browser and we can see that it already works. We'll extend the top margin to MT5 to separate it from the navbar. The settings component class will be empty, without any logic attached to it at the moment. We move on by adding the styles of the settings. The parent container is a grid, with grid template columns set to repeat for one fraction. And the grid gap is one RAM. In the browser, we can already see that the content is split into four columns. That's nice. In the variables.scss, I will add a few new colors here. Gray 0, gray 1, gray 2, gray 3, gray 4, and gray 5. Then we go back to the styles again and add a little padding and we need a fixed width, the gray background color and we set the font size and in the end we reset the border. Now it looks much better. We want to import the helpers so we can use them in the rest of the style sheet. For each div inside of the grid we want to set a different background color and the padding with rounded corners and the box shadow. Now we can see a clear distinction between different sections. We want to set positions for every div inside of the grid. The first day will start from the first column and spread itself to the third column. Vertically it will spread itself from row 1 to row 3. We'll use the same two properties for all the other bits and we'll simply change the numbers. The focus control is displayed between the columns 3 and 5. The grid row is between 1 and 2 and we just adjust all the other numbers accordingly. Now if I go back to the browser, the components are already set in the correct positions, just like they are in the final version. We are done with the styles for now, and now we want to start building the child components. We start with an airdrop control component template. 
It's going to be a flex with its items centered horizontally and vertically. These classes are coming from the Prime Flex library. It will have an image that comes from the Assets Images folder. Another div with a title and the off on indicator. And it looks alright so far. The component class is empty, but we'll set the change detection strategy anyway. We'll do the same for the Bluetooth control component. And we'll reuse a template from the AirDrop control component inside of the HTML. We'll change the image URL, the title, and the indicator. Cool, now we have two components in the settings dialog already. A Wi-Fi control template will be slightly different as we'll be using an icon instead of an image here. Text2XL and MR2 are coming from Primeplex, as well as the text SM and text XS which are responsible for font sizes. The component class stays empty. And now we have all the components inside of the first column. We'll take care of the alignment in a few moments. We move on by adjusting the focus control component template. And this one will have a M3 class to create some spacing around it and a simple title focus control. It will have a P-Moon icon. Looks good. Keyboard brightness control will be very similar, with a different icon and a title. Its class is also empty. We want to give it a different flex direction and then we just copy everything from here. And paste it into the screen mirroring component template. We change the icon and the title. And we can get rid of the M3 class which gives us extra spacing as we don't want it for this component and we don't want it for the keyboard brightness as well. The component looks great, we're almost there. The last component that we're going to adjust is the music control component. This one is structured slightly differently. It has justify content set to between. I'm gonna get rid of everything inside of the parent, parent div. And then I will have another div which is a flex with centered items. And inside of it there is an image and a span with a music title. And then we have another div that contains the play and fast forward icons. The component class is empty as usual. And in the browser it looks great. Let me just fix the alignment of the first column so instead of align items set to center for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth airdrop control we'll set it to flex start. 
Now everything looks perfect. And this is our settings component. With this video, we have reached the end of the series. In case you enjoy watching this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future. Thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next one.